K-Swap FRS here. All you have to do is go to theboostedboys.com. Every $5 you spend on our website gets you a chance to win this thing. And I want to remind you guys, we have a whole bunch of sales going on right now. We have a whole bunch of bundle deals on the site. So if you guys want to grab something, there's only two weeks left. Time's running out, but I'm excited to see who it goes to. Let's get to the video. Well, this is not what I wanted to wake up to. Looks like we had a big branch break off of the neighbor's tree last night. You can see where it busted off right there. This is the actual branch itself. It took out their fence a little bit and sadly a piece of that branch hit our tree which broke a piece off of ours and this branch right here landed on the Rowdesy's hood. Maybe you can't tell from that angle how dented it is but I'll show you from the side. She is smushed boys. So the Rowdesy took a hit. I don't know if this was uh, you know damage that was caused by Hurricane Ian and it finally just kind of caught up and cracked the rest of that branch down but unfortunately the Rowdesy was outside last night and uh it caved her hood in pretty good so that freaking sucks but at least it didn't hit the windshield no cracks on the windshield which is surprising but i got a whole bunch of crap in the exhaust we usually don't leave this thing out too much it's usually under the carport or covered or inside somewhere but uh it's been out for the last couple days and yeah, that's unfortunate. She's definitely going to need a hood. Luckily, everything underneath appears to be... Oh, nice. That just all went down the exhaust. Everything in here looks to be okay. So, that's good at least. But the Rousey is going to need a hood. And we need to fire this thing up and blow all those leaves out of the exhaust. <laughs> A mess. You can see right where the Rowdesy was sitting and all the debris around it. And the neighbor just came over and talked to me a little bit because we're not sure what we're going to do about this branch right here that is now on the ground. I mean, it's pretty much half the tree that broke off right there. So, like I said, you can see where it was connected back there on the old tree. This whole branch is uh, now just hanging on right there. So, if this snaps, all of this is coming down and that's probably going to take out the rest of the fence there because that guy. It goes pretty far over there so that is not ideal we got some guys coming over hopefully gonna come give us a quote what it would take to come over here and cut that guy up and get it out of the way hopefully we don't destroy any more of the fence but i'm gonna go ahead and move the cars out of the way because another thing that kind of worries me long term is this tree right here because all of its branches are coming out this way and it has nothing that goes out that way to balance it out so i mean if there is a gust of wind strong enough blowing this way i feel like the only direction this tree can go is that way because look at it look how far these branches extend out that has to be a lot of leverage pulling on it that way and we got all those up there it's all this way and there's literally nothing that way from where the center of the trunk is so you know i ain't a tree expert but if that thing ever does fall one day it is going right towards the shop and anything that might be under here so yeah definitely something to think about I'll uh, ask the tree guys when they come over and hopefully we can do something about that. I don't know. I heard these trees are like sacred in Florida and you're not allowed to cut them or something. Who knows, but they're over here crushing our poor minivans. Well, I got the hood off. It's over there in the grass. At least nothing under here looks to be damaged. The intake didn't get hit too bad. Everything's looking fine. It was just the hood. Unfortunately, it was on the route of sea, which is our you know, $500 minivan on the outside. Yes, I know there's a lot of fancy stuff on the inside, but on the outside, she is just a regular plain old Honda Odyssey. So if any car was gonna get hit by a massive tree branch, I'm glad it was the minivan. I got the hood over here and, uh, you know, I was thinking maybe I could just take the branch and throw it on the backside and it will pop it back out the same way. I don't know. Just try to jump on her a little bit. And we can straighten this thing out. Oh, boys, I think that is going to work. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, 
that definitely needs pushed out right there. Let's see here. Just gotta pretend I'm a big old tree branch. Something like that, let's see. Oh, beautiful. Dude, that's not even that bad. You know what, boys? I think we're gonna slap that right back on how it is and call it good. This gives it that much more character. She's just gonna be that much more sleeper now. Now that it looks that much more beat up, at least it's not freaking caved in like it was. You know, I'll give her a couple more jumps and we'll uh, call it good from there. Like it Part never even happened. <laughs> hey, that don't look too bad. Not too shabby. You get definitely more of a gap over here now though. You know, it ain't perfect, but it'll ride. <laughs> from this side, you can't even tell. Slick aerodynamic mods. This is definitely her new angles, this side right here. <laughs> the hood looks brand new from over here freaking trees dude well on a more positive note we are back at the boat ramp today with the jet boat and we are getting ready to put this thing in the water and hopefully turn her up a little bit today boys so in the last video we had Brent out with us and we got it running great on about five pounds and before we could turn it up and have some more fun with this thing and make the video that we wanted to the starter took a crap on us and that cut our day short so we had to bring it home we got the starter fixed and she's good to go so we're putting it back on the water Right now, Wyatt's busy working on his race truck. He's been hustling, getting that thing ready for PRI. So he's back at the house, and I figured I'd come out with the girlfriend and put this thing on the water. And we're gonna bump this thing up a little bit, hopefully today, and get a new top speed and kind of go from there. We brought a couple drill bits, and we're gonna be turning it up the Boosted Boys, you know, old-fashioned way by adding a couple holes to the uh, boost line going to the wastegate. See if we can bump it up to about nine, 10 pounds and see where she goes from there. But let's go ahead and get her out on the water. All right, guys, we are back on the water and everything is looking good back here. Starter is no longer broken. We're ready to rip today, boys. All right, guys, we're gonna do another top speed run. I'm guessing it's gonna be about the same right around 48 miles an hour because now the tank is completely topped off and I have my girlfriend with me. So it's probably similar weight to when Brent and Steven were in here. So we'll do it one more time just to double check. She's still on five PSI. I'll probably have her hop out see what it is just with me in it. Then we'll go ahead and drill a hole in the wastegate line and see if we can't bump her up a little bit. Pull up to the dock for a second. We actually had a fan stop by. How's it going? Guess he saw us going by. <laughs> so you got an Adam LZ shirt on there. I do. I do. Yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> what do you think of it? It was sick, man. It sounds good too. It's uh, it's, it's quick. I think you said it went 40. 48 on 48. that last one. So. Yeah, it's it's pretty quick for yeah. I think we're gonna, boat. gonna bump her up and try to hit 50. <laughs> That's the plan. So yeah, just did a couple runs. Could only hit 48 once again. So we're gonna go ahead and bust out the drill and put a hole in that line. See if we can't touch 50 miles an hour. All right, guys, got the boost controller all trucked up in the drill. 
we're just gonna start with a very small hole just before the wastegate line here. And I'm going to do it close enough to where we have enough slack to where if I over boost this thing, we can cut that off and restart. And there we go. A little hole to our line. Should make a little more boost. And yes, we are gonna add a boost controller to this thing in the future, but for right now, this works. All right, there we go. Let's see how much more boost it makes now. Add another hole. It's gonna only make five psi, and that ain't gonna cut it. All right, we now have two holes in the line going to the gate. Let's see what that does. do something we should at least see six pounds now you think freaking better i was hoping each hole would give it almost a pound but they're only giving it like 0. 0. 0. 0.2 psi <laughs> all right let's try that again We now have a total of eight holes drilled in the vacuum line that's going to the bottom of the wastegate. So we just hit 50 miles an hour. She was turning about 5,800 RPM, and it was just over six PSI, like 6.1. So a couple more holes, this might get it to like that six and a half range, maybe seven, I'm not sure. The more holes we start adding, it might start becoming more and more efficient in getting more boost out of it. So I don't wanna to drill too many holes where we can't go back. So we'll try it again, and I'm hoping for about 6,000 RPM and if we can squeeze like 51, 52 miles an hour out of this thing. crazy that that many holes is only giving us a couple more psi from where it was at so we're hoping for about seven pounds here all right guys making another solo run i have shally waiting on the dock just to get some outside footage the mid-range power on the boat feels so much faster now and it's actually really quick right now it actually kind of puts you back in your seat a little bit from like 20 to 40 miles an hour it gets up and goes pretty good so the turbo kit's definitely 
helping us out a lot now. So I'm really happy with how the jet boat has come out so far. I can only imagine what this thing would do with a built engine in it and like E85. It would be absolutely ridiculous, but where it's at right now, this thing is a blast. The jet boat is running great, hit 52 miles an hour, and can't lie, drilled two more holes in the line. So now it has 12 holes, <laughs> and we'll see where that puts us, maybe about eight PSI. Uh, our buddy Ryan just got here with Wyatt's jet ski, actually. Yep. We're borrowing that guy, and this is actually a turbo Aquatrax. This one runs about 60 to 62 miles an hour, so I'm interested to see how close we are to keeping up with this one. It should beat us because, you know, it's a turbo jet ski, it's pretty quick. But I'd love to be on the level where we can hang with you know, like a stock aqua tracks or something. So running somewhere in the high 50s to low 60 mile an hour range. Yeah, got a couple more holes drilled and we're gonna get some more shots since Ryan just got here on the ski. Don't, go from there. Don't soak me this time. Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah. Don't get near the jet nozzle because <laughs> yeah. she is roosting right now. I saw that. <laughs> Way more than it was on the uh, naturally aspirated yeah, I pulled setup. Up, I walked down the dock and you're just ripping by. It's like 60 feet behind the boat. Dude, and it sounds so sick. Can you yeah. hear it from out oh, there? Yeah. The turbo oh, the whistling? Yeah. It sounds great. Guys, we're gonna have a little race against the jet boat and Wyatt's aqua tracks over there. Ryan has his girlfriend, wife on there. <laughs> I almost I almost misspoke. <laughs> There's a ring on there. Ryan has his wife on the back, so they have two people, and we got two people in the jet boat. The jet ski should beat us, but I'm curious to see how it lines up, and it's just gonna want me to turn it up more later on. But we're gonna go from a slow roll and then hit it. I'll, I'll go one, two, three, hit it on three. Top 
We're almost as fast as the jet ski. That's pretty sick. He does have two people on it though, but that's awesome. Holy cow. Dude, the boat's so much faster now. Dude, it gets up and goes. I bet you you could go from a dig and it would still be this. That's pretty nuts. You want to try a dig? Yeah, let's try a dig. I just feel like it's going to jump out of the water. I mean, you got to try it. All right, we'll try a dig. Turbo Honda versus Turbo Honda. <laughs> Power of dreams. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. All right, guys, we are getting out of here. We got the jet boat loaded up. We ended up staying out on the lake for almost three hours today, just ripping on the boat. And she's been, you know, just running so awesome. I can't be more happy with how this thing turned out. We hit 52 miles an hour today on only seven pounds of boost. Uh, we did actually hit eight PSI later on after we drilled a couple more holes, but I didn't really do any more top speed runs after that just because we were having fun at that point. We were worried that the oiling system on the boat being a stock K20 style pump might starve, but we've been beating on it and it just keeps going. So. Really pumped with how she came out, guys. And uh, we'll turn it up later on, but right now there's no need to. It's running in the 50 mile an hour range. It has plenty of power, and today was a successful day. So let's go ahead and get her home, get her washed up for another day.